Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Shakriar Mamejaro and Magnus Carlsen. This is a game from a rapid chess tournament played in Paris in 2017. Shakriar Mamejaro had white pieces and he started with d4. Magnus Carlsen played knight to f6. c4, e6, knight to c3, bishop to b4. The Nimzo Indian defense. Knight to f3 and Carlsen castle the kingside. Bishop to g5, beneath the knight, c5, e3, c takes on d4, e takes on d4, d5, c takes on d5, e takes on d5, bishop to e2, h6, white to move. Bishop takes on f6 was played. If bishop goes to h4, then g5, and after bishop to g3, knight to e4. So we have bishop takes on f6, queen takes on f6, and Shakriar Mamejaro castle kingside 2. Bishop takes on c3, pawn takes bishop, and, and white has a backward pawn. Knight to c6, rook to e1, b6. If bishop to f5, then White would play queen to b3. So we have b6, knight to d2, bishop to e6, knight to f1, knight to a5. Perhaps the knight is going to the c4 square. Knight to e3, rook from a to c8, rook to c1, rook from f to d8, bishop to d3, rook to c7 g3, intending knight to g2 and then knight to f4, perhaps. g6, knight to g2, knight to c4, rook to c2, rook to e7, queen to c1, bishop to f5, rook takes on e7, bishop takes on d3, rook takes on a7, white to move. Perhaps bishop takes rook on c2 comes to mind, do you agree? Carlsen played g5, preventing knight to f4. Interestingly, Carlsen is not in a hurry to capture the rook, perhaps saving the bishop in order to explore the weaknesses on the light squares around white king. Rook to d2. Knight takes on d2, queen takes on d2, bishop to e4, knight to e1, rook to e8. White is a pawn up. And in an endgame with no pieces, just pawns, white would perhaps win the game. But this is the middle game of a rapid game, and every little inaccuracy can cost a game. White move. A4. What do you think of this move? Better was queen to d3. And if rook to c8, then rook to a3. And white is still slightly better. Back to our game. a4 was played. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Black. Play the move. And white resigned. Believe it or not. The move is bishop to f3. White resigned. If knight takes on f3, then queen takes on f3. And after say queen to c1, rook to e2, queen to f1, queen to e4, threatening rook to e1, winning the queen. And let's go back. If knight doesn't take the bishop, let's play a random move. h3, then rook to e2, attacking the queen, queen to d1. Then, not rook takes on f2, but bishop to h5, threatening queen takes pawn on f2. After knight to d3, queen to f3, rook perhaps to a8 check, king to g7, but what now? After some random move, then black plays the obvious. What is the obvious? The obvious is attacking the defender of f2 square. Bishop to g6, threatening bishop takes knight. If 
If knight goes somewhere, then queen to f2, check, king to h1, and then queen to g2, checkmate. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.